General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands, man your battle station. Hi, Tom Trento, director of the United West, here with our very, very good friend, Victor Avila. How are you, Victor? I'm doing really good, Tom. Great to be back with you. Great to be back, um, Victor and the United West team with Tom Holman and Sarah Carter. Last summer in June, we were uh, all through Israel. We were being briefed by the Israeli uh, defense forces and intelligence apparatus on the border security in israel in just a couple of months after we got back victor can you believe what happened it's kind of eerie um uh, because of what's happening in the war over there but i can't help to think of what's happening in our own border and that destruction of the non-existing border under this administration and, and the risk that we face every single day not just illegal immigration, but I'm talking about public safety now. I'm talking about national security. I'm talking about the big picture here and allowing the rest of the world to have access to our country who don't like us and have told us they don't like us and they want to harm us. Yet this administration has denied and frankly uh, done nothing about it other than put us at risk. Yeah, and for folks uh, maybe meeting you for the first time, Victor, take uh, take thirty seconds or so and uh, tell us your uh, your bona fides, why people should listen to you when you speak about the border, and apart from the fact that a um, very beautiful, very powerful documentary was done about something that happened in your life, we'll put it in the description of this video you got to watch it folks 45 minute amazing story of victor tell the folks a little bit about you and then uh, let's take a look at our border mess and what can be done on november 5th to fix it absolutely uh, i'm born and raised in el paso texas on the border i understand the border uh, i've worked at uh, all different levels of government county state federal and international as a U.S. diplomat. I'm a retired special agent with Homeland Security Investigations. Uh, I've worked in Mexico, Spain, Portugal. I understand borders and I understand um, the need for them um, for the protection, not just of our public safety, but overall of our sovereignty. And I'm a big advocate to continue to bring awareness about that, especially in the last four years that we have just experienced something that has never, ever happened. It's unprecedented times when it comes to border security here, here in our country, not abroad and 6,000 miles away. And we see what happens in other countries when the borders are eradicated. And so my job as a survivor of almost being killed in the line of duty uh, in Mexico, in fact, my partner was killed next to me. And so I do bring a personal touch uh, feeling because um, I'm a patriot. I, I love my country and uh, I really want to make it go back and see exactly what this country was based on and the fundamentals of it, which is uh, very, very close to my values. And I just wanted to be back. I want people to be uh, free. I want people to be safe. I want people to be uh, uh, able to do what uh, the Constitution of the United States was meant to do for our citizens. And it it all comes down to enforcement. And I want to be part of the solution. That's why I'm here. And Victor, uh, with all your work on a, a local, state, federal level, uh, you have explained to us many times in your briefings the fact that we have we have a phenomenal legal mechanism for people from other countries to come into the United States of America. Why is this administration? Why did they blow open and destroy everything that the Trump administration put into place in 2016 through 2020 with our good buddy Tom Ullman there also? Why did the Biden administration create such a disaster and can it be fixed? 
Um, they created, and I get this question a lot, and, and I think the big, the, the real answer here is ideal, uh, the ideology. I think these people are communist. They're beyond socialist. I think that's the big picture. That's the real answer. And when you, when you have that ideology, you are going to uh, fundamentally change the fabric of our country. And what, how do you do it? Well, you bring people that are actually going to physically change that one neighborhood at a time. And guess what? It is happening. It, we, we're seeing people from all over the world, 170 plus countries coming here where they cannot be absorbed into these communities, literally being forced in there, affecting our economy and our healthcare system, our criminal justice systems, our schools, literally everyday activities that we encounter as U.S. citizens are highly affected. And uh, can it be fixed? Absolutely. Because you said it, Tom. Uh, we don't need new legislation. We have very, very strong laws that can take care of this on day one. Now, because of the situation that we're in now, we actually do need to step it up and bring uh, additional resources because they have really destroyed our country in the last three and a half years. So uh, not only do we have the laws that, that we can use, but we do need other uh, maybe executive orders or other type of solutions because uh, to kind of uh, retract, and we're talking about the deportations, we're talking about the cartels being designated as foreign terrorist organizations, many, many other solutions that I, I want to be part of. But yes, my optimism says we can fix it. And I think the American people want it fixed. Yeah, Victor, um, the American people want it fixed. We made a movie, our Defend the Border campaign. Uh, Death County and the River of Broken Dreams, an amazing, amazing movie. You were in it. And um, we we went around the country and saw that Americans want this fixed. And, and Hispanics want it fixed. Most Hispanics we've spoken with through the years want to do this the right way, the legal way. And really, they're standing in line. They're very, very upset by um, just jails being emptied and from South American crazy people coming here. So we know November 5th is a critical day. We hope and pray that um, a particular president who fixed it once gets back in and that he brings you into his administration. You need to be there. Can you close out our segment right now, this interview with a, uh, a, uh, a call to action for the Hispanic community to vote. My Spanish is kind of limited to uh, um, just a few words. So can you share that, please? Claro que sí, Tom. Hoy es el momento de que nuestras voces sean escuchadas y queremos que la economía, eh, la seguridad pública, que nuestros este, hijos y nuestras familias estén seguras en este país de Estados Unidos. Nosotros como hispanos, Como católicos, tenemos ese poder con nuestro voto, pero tenemos que salir a votar. Tráiganse a sus familiares, a sus amigos para votar y vamos a votar republicano, porque sabemos que esos dos personas son las personas que tienen las soluciones que nos van a ayudar a nuestras familias. Gracias. Gracias, mi amigo. How's that? Pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, man. Hey, thank you very, very much. And uh, as we sprint now to November 5, 2024, we're going to have you back regularly and get your insights and uh, uh, your clarion call for what needs to be done in the United States of America to make it great again. Thank you very, very much, Victor. Thank you, Tom.